Good morning guys, how are you all doing? My name is Ben and I am an angry little child. So in yesterday's vlog you will have seen that I had that little red card to go pick up that mount. I've just been. I absolutely despise the Royal Mail. They have lost my parcel. I don't know how they have done it. I don't know why they have done it. How can you lose a thing if you put it in a tr if you put it through a window and the guy puts it on a shelf? How do you lose something? It is not going to grow legs and jump off the shelf. What is stupid? Fat white guy. Look, I, don't know, I can't understand a word he was saying. He was talking like that. So give it, give him the red card. He went into the back to try and find it. Came out. You lot of white sack. A couple of minutes later, another guy came out and asked me for my phone number. Give him my number. I said, six, four, he put six, zero, and I was like, so he read it, and I was like, six, four, two. He was like, oh, screwed it out, and then, four, four. But how can you lose a parcel? The only way I could imagine them doing that is if they give it to the postman to re-deliver. But if they were going to do that, they could have done it on Wednesday and he could have come on Thursday. And if he didn't come on Thursday, he could have come on Friday. And if he didn't come on Friday, he could have come yesterday. Because I was sat downstairs for most of yesterday because I was still waiting for the person to come pick me up. Just because I wanted to see what other people were thinking. I've got, I went on, I just googled what are Royal Mail's reviews and the first link was Trusted Reviews, which is the same place where I got that MPB thing, which had a 9.4 star rating. Went on Trustpilot, so Royal Mail, it had a 1.1 star review out of 10. That is the funniest thing ever. That means it's so shocking. Yeah. Um, I told you we need to get rid of it. If you're only getting a 1.1 star out of 10 out of everybody in the UK... There's obviously something not right. It's like there was one about a guy with who ordered an iPhone and the postman stole it. You know what I mean? Just proof Eng England's full of scumbags. Also, quick question. How does that look like Ben Brown? So just quickly mentioning that, the URL for this channel is now youtube.com slash benbrownvlogs. So... Instead of it being Polish, with lots of j gibberish letters, it is now that, so shout out to YouTube. That's because I've reached 100 subscribers and I've got a channel out and all that shit, so thank you. I record a podcast, um, I don't know why I'm listening to Joseph in the Amazing Technical Dream, but it's just what was last on my Spotify. The reason I'm watching that is because I was talking about that um, U2 song, The Pride in the Name of Love, in yesterday's vlog, and how I once did that, like at the MEN, and then... I just, for some reason, when I was in like year five or six, I think it were, I was in Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dream, or oh, Natfully, one of the brothers. Um, but I, I was like a substitute for somebody because I didn't want to do it, to be fair. I wanted to do it lighting or something. And for some reason, I really like that ending song, so I was just listening to it yesterday, and I just, it was on Spotify, because Spotify automatically opened, so I just thought, I'll listen to it. If you're wondering how I get my podcast to sound, how I do, I use hard li I use my own preset, which I've made. I just use hard limiter, parametric EQ, graphic EQ, voice enhancer, and parametric equalizer again. So, before May, I had a load of videos up on my channel, right? And because I just felt so shit about them, I deleted them, but I kept them on my hard drive because if I ever want to look back at them, I can. And I might make a montage at the end of the year and then like roll it over. But look at that! That is my leg when I fell over, that's rancid. Look at that bit! Ooh, that's disgusting! Oh, that's horrible. That's all because I fell off a treadmill and it burnt my leg. But look at it, it's like holes and oh, it felt it smelled like salt and pepper and it was disgusting. So, I am watching um, American, not American Art Story, the bloody hell, that was yonks ago. House of Cards, Season 1, Episode 4, I've watched the other three, first three. Um, they're good, I like them. I've, I've got a thing for watching stuff about the American government, like I like watching Olympus Has Fallen and London Has Fallen and stuff like that. I literally just opened up the YouTube homepage, right, on one of my accounts. And, why, why, sh why should we shave our pubes? There we go, just finished editing that podcast, all I did was, well, it's not hard, it's just, there was bits in it that was either just dead silence for long periods of time, or repeating myself over and over again, so it was more just the ending when it was just, like, the phone calls and nobody answered, 
I just cut out like loads of the. So, as you know, or as I mentioned, I've made a new channel for like creative work, like portfolios and stuff. So now, anything to do, anything, anything that's got nothing to do with BB Hacks Media, that logo. That logo there, which you might be thinking, well, what the frig is that? It's a scribble that you drew in Snapchat. Well, yeah, but it's like my signature. So that's my that's my by Bren Brown logo, and then the logo, like the little character or the B slanted thing, is the BB Hacks logo, which again I don't want to associate with like this and all other stuff and she's taking that down. I don't like it. And I'm going to move that back there and have that as my camera in that corner, so. So, this is what it's looking like. I've got all that up. I can't set up my speak things, but I'm not too fussed. I was going to put them down the sides and that. I know it looks a bit odd being there, but you'll get used to it. Also, I've put the soft boxes facing the wall. But what I'm thinking I might start doing is I might just have that as my backdrop from like my main videos, like bring the lights out here like where bed is and try to put it in the middle and that and then have that as the backdrop and get some like acoustic foam and put it in that corner or something but it's all just ideas in it if you're wondering why i have no top on it's because i'm sweating cobs and all i've done is i moved a load of stuff oh so um at least that shelf's now organized when I was putting all the stuff there, yeah, my shelf kind of fell down. It's because this wardrobe's wank stain. It's going soon. So, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Um, <coughs> my phone died when I went downstairs. That was the problem. Oh, God. Tell, tell the truth for something. Or something like that, whatever it was on BBC One.